recent case of Jika virus infection in Pune has renewed concerns about India's preparedness for diagnosing emerging infectious diseases. After experiencing symptoms like fever and rashes, the 46-year-old doctor was hospitalized and diagnosed with Jika virus infection after his samples were sent for testing to the Apex Virology Institute. Subsequent testing of his family members revealed that his 15-year-old daughter was also infected. This is not the first time Jika has been identified in India. Cases have been identified in multiple states in India in the past, with larger outbreaks occurring in Kerala and Uttar Pradesh as recently reported in 2021. Jika virus is a mosquito-borne pathogen belonging to the flavivirus family of viruses including dengue. Clinical symptoms of Jika infection in many cases could be mild and distinguishable from other infectious diseases including dengue. However, for pregnant women, the Jika virus poses a significant risk as it can be transmitted from mother to child, potentially leading to microcephaly in offspring. Due to climate change, it is not surprising that multiple dengue outbreaks are making headlines. The same vectors that spread dengue could also spread Zika. However, India's lack of significant Zika surveillance means we might never fully understand its spread. In March 2023, CDSCO, India's apex organization for diagnostic approvals, confirmed that there is no approved diagnostic test for Zika. This limitation hinders our ability to diagnose Jika, relying only on classical symptoms and high clinical suspicion, making it complex as we see a concurrent upsurge in dengue cases across the country. Surveillance by ICMR on AIDS mosquitoes showed Jika virus positivity following human cases, indicating that many cases are likely being missed. Jika is not an isolated case. A case of avian influenza AH5N was recently reported from Australia in a child who had travelled to India, hinting at more undetected infections. Despite multiple avian influenza outbreaks dot in India, this year affecting poultry, and an ongoing outbreak in Kerala, human testing and surveillance have remained limited. This is partially compounded by the lack of widely available diagnostic tests and over-reliance on a few apex institutes. Consider the case of the Nipah virus, which has seen multiple outbreaks in Kerala. India has experienced several Nipah virus outbreaks, notably in West Bengal, 2001 and 2007, and Kerala, 2018. 2021 and 2023. In Kerala, identification of the virus relied heavily on clinical suspicion. Some cases were indeed missed during initial missions due to the lack of routine testing. Rapid identification and isolation of cases, contact tracing, and targeted screening of contacts are key to the effective containment of Nipah outbreaks. While many countries grant emergency approvals for diagnostics based on synthetic genomic material, India requires validation on clinical samples, which are not readers and are not readily accessible. These limitations hamper rapid development. Although there have been multiple publications on Jika and Nipah outbreaks over many years now, the genomes from these outbreaks are still not rapidly released in public repositories. For example, the Nipah virus genomes from the 2023 outbreak in Kerala were only released last month. Even with ongoing avian influenza outbreaks in multiple states, we do not yet have the whole genome sequences available in GI said the primary repository for influenza sequences hampering understanding of the disease and spread and more importantly, our ability to rapidly develop and deploy diagnostics.
the experience gained from the COVID-19 pandemic can thals, medical colleges, and private laboratories nationwide and tap into the industry with a systematic approach for approvals of diagnostic tests making diagnostics widely available and accessible. By decentralizing testing facilities, particularly at the district and sub-district levels, and developing accessible and affordable diagnostic tests for Jika, Nipah, avian influenza, and many more emerging infectious diseases, India can ensure a more effective response to future outbreaks. There has never been a better time to swiftly establish a decentralized system for diagnostics, genomic surveillance, and data sharing to enable preparedness and public health response to emerging infectious diseases. Mm -hmm.